what's up guys welcome to the weeks club in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can add multiple drop down filters to filter your weeks pro gallery as you can see i have two drop down elements here and i want to use these drop two drop downs to filter this weeks pro gallery all right in the previous tutorial i showed you how to use uh selection tags to filter your weeks pro gallery but in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to use one drop down two drop downs and many more so that is why it's a multiple drop down filter all right so before the end of this tutorial you should be able to know how to add this to your website and make it functional for the first option which is the cuisine as you can see i have selected the french option for the cuisines and i can as you can see all options are displayed which have the keyword french all right and you can also go ahead and do that for the second one which is the italian as you can see all cuisines with italian are selected all right and so on all right so for the next one also which is the location this two drop downs can work independently or dependently they can work as either way that you want them to all right so we have the location london as you can see all items with the keyword london are displayed and worldwide as well all keywords with the worldwide are displayed we can go ahead and combine these two drop downs together to refine our search and as you can see we have the cuisine which is french and we also have the worldwide location which is right here so this actually refines our search all right so we can go ahead and combine as many times as we want we have the italian cuisine right here and we also have the worldwide location right there all right so we can reset that and start from here if we want that which is the french as you can see and we can choose a different location as you can see the combination works perfectly all right so let's head into the code guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and don't also forget to hit the like button and check out the description you're going to find the link to this code and also the link to this website to preview all right so before we get started let's turn on our developer mode which is right there turn that on to make use of the wix code and other wix elements uh value elements so right here i've added two drop down elements to add your drop down head into the add section and then into the input menu option all right under the selection you're going to find the drop down all right so select any of these drop downs that you have here and then customize it to your taste so next you can see i have a wix pro gallery to add the gallery head into your add or the plus symbol again and then you can find the gallery option right here all right so there are many options for your wix gallery and i have used this first one which is the recommended option it's a pro gallery and there are many other pro galleries that you can make use of okay so i've connected these to data as you can see this uh, icon right here is green so click on that to connect that to your data to your data set so if you don't have a data set here's my data set and to add a data set head over to the plus sign right there and then to the content manager and you're going to find the data set so add any of these data set right there into your code or into your page and then click on that under the settings you're going to connect these to the database you're trying to display items from okay so i only have one database and that is the restaurant database okay so i selected that option and that is all you have to do and most importantly you can choose how many items to display i mine is set to the default which is 12. all right so connect that to connect your pro gallery to your database select the data set first of all and then we have the image field connect that to the image field of your database next is it the title field of my uh wix pro gallery which is right here i have connected that to the location field and the final one is the description which i have connected to the cuisine field of my items okay all right so for the options here i'm going to show you how to get the options before i head into my database to show you how that looks like i'm going to explain a few things to you so the label right here says edit label this label is what the user sees when you're trying to select an option from your your drop down so i have the drop down right here and I, if i click on that these are the um labels these are what the user sees but the most important part of this is the value all right so the value is what the keyword you're trying to filter with so you're going to head into your database to look for that keyword and then paste the exact keyword right here in your drop down value 
so for my cuisine i have two options which are french and italian and for the second one which is location field or location drop down i have two options as well london and worldwide okay so take note of how these values actually look like they're case sensitive so let's head into my database to see how they actually look like all right so in my database i have two fields as you can see i have the location and i have the cuisine field and i only have two options for my location which is which are london and worldwide i have spread that across my items so there are only two options london and worldwide you only need to add just one of that and for my cuisine i have french and italian so what you have to do is just to copy the exact value or the keyword copy the exact one into your field in your drop down so since it's case sensitive then you need to make sure that you just have to copy that or if you remember how you it, you wrote that then just write that into your value all right just write that there or just copy that and paste this is the most important part all right so let's head into our code don't forget to turn on your dev mode to make use of the code panel Okay, so as you can see my code i have a very short and simple code and i'm going to run you through how to set this up in your website how to add more lines of code for as many drop down elements as you have all right so the first option here is the wix data which means we're going to be making use of our database content use the already function which means that this code is going to run when all the elements in my drop down have finished loading all right so to change i'm just going to show you guys how to, what you need to change and how to go from here all right this is the most important part of the filter and this is the reset filter section all right so i'm just going to explain this one right now and then move back to the reset filter so for the first one as you can see i have an unchanged function and i have two ids inside of it and these ids are the ids of my drop downs since i have two drop downs i'm going to add the ids of my two drop downs in them if you hover or click on the items you're going to find that you have the id just displayed over them all right so these two drop down this is the first one filter element and the second one is filter element two all right so add your ids right here okay and then for the next one i have two variables or two constants actually two constants and i've assigned the constants to the values of each drop downs okay so these are the two drop downs that i have and i have assigned a variable or a constant to to them all right so if you have multiple drop downs all you have to do is just to assign more constants to them just copy that for example and paste on the next line of code change the variable name maybe to three or whatever uh name that you want to call it but you can make it that way so it's it's easier to work with and then change the id to the next drop down that you have but since i have only two drop down elements i'm only going to have two uh constants all right so as you can see when you click on each constant you can see that i have made use of that multiple times in my code actually only two times in my code all right for the second one also two times in my code all right so this right here is a variable for the wix data filter function and this is the most important part of this code or if they selected an item this that is what this one right here means if the user actually selects an option okay or which is a logical operator for or okay if they selected the second option from the drop down okay so remember that here again the selected val is the is holding the value of my drop down and the selected val 2 is holding the the value of my second drop down okay so if you have multiple drop downs for example you have up to four all you have to do is just to copy this logical operator right here and then paste it next to this code and then add the same um, settings as you have here just copy that okay and then change the um the constant of that whatever drop down constant you have okay if you created one here like i did earlier if you created one here all you have to do is just to change it to whatever that you have for example this is three okay and then you can just change that to three and so on okay so if you have multiple constant as you as you do here just copy this logical operator to the next step and then copy this section and then change the constant that you have okay so the next part of this is the filter section remember that this filter here is the variable which is holding this one holding this function which is the wix data filter function all right so 
we say that if it con if it is contained in the field key or the field in my database which is the cuisine field and uh, remember again guys the field key is how you identify a field in your database so to find your field key all you have to do is head into your database so in your database field we have each field has um ids and let me call them ids because they are always different for each case so each field has something called a field key and the field key is how you communicate um, this field how you get the, the data from this field in your code so copy that field key right into your code that is for the cuisine field and then paste it right there okay as you can see mine is already correct so i don't have to uh, paste that and then next is the value of my drop down whatever value that the user has selected is what we're going to match so if this value here matches with this one then we're going to display whatever match that we have okay then i have dot and okay so since we're using two drop downs you can just add dot and and then all you have to do is just to repeat this uh, right here after adding the dot and just repeat that so we have the dot and okay so this one means we're adding another option to our filter okay so if we have different values we have different um we have more uh, variables or more drop downs then all you have to do is just to copy this line and then paste it to the next line of code that you have okay so what you need to change is the field key of that drop down element and also the constant the constant is the value of that drop down okay so if you have multiple drop downs with the constant listed all you have to do is to change the constant right here so if you have another option for your drop down if you have an another drop down element that you have added a constant to then you need to change it right here all right all right so i'm going to show you how again i'm just going to run you through again what to do how to add more drop down uh, items to your code so if you have another drop down again you need to add a constant and then just paste it below this one okay then change the id or change the constant name to something that is easier to remember okay and then next you need to add the or which is here which is a logical operator so just add it next to this one and then copy this same step right here okay just copy that and paste it next to the one you have all right so what you do is you need to change this one right here you need to change this to the constant of the new drop down element you have okay so if you have more and more and more just copy that like that and then just continue doing that as you go all right but make sure that you change the um the constant name of each of the drop downs which you would declare right here okay then next if you to the filter part which is the most important part just copy this line of code right here and then just keep pasting it as you go all right just keep pasting it as many as you want all right but make sure again that you change the field key of that field or the field that the drop down is connected to and also the constant okay so since i have only two drop downs that is how where my code ends all right then we perform we ask the uh, data set to actually perform the filter all right so that is all we have for this part of the code and then to the reset uh, function part all right this is the button id of my reset button so if you click on that or hover over that you're going to find that the id is called reset filter all right so when i click on that i want to be able to filter my data set and bring out everything that i have in my data set or my database and then for all the drop downs that i have i'm going to set their values to undefined so if you have more drop downs all you have to do is to set the values to undefined all right so that is all we have for the code we can go ahead and test this one more time to find how amazing this actually is and as you can see guys this actually really 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 is fun to make use of okay so as you can see when you filter each of the elements it's also going to um, work when you open the expanded mode okay so the two elements or the two items that i have are the only ones that have been displayed in the expanded mode okay so for example if i have all the options displayed you can see that i can just keep going and going and going and that really works okay so if we have let's say we have all french um, displayed you can just keep going for all the filters that you have actually opened up okay so this is really really amazing so guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you love this video don't forget to 
give us a thumbs up and also check out the description i have the link to the code i have the link to the tutorial site and i also have the link to this website okay you can come in here and play around all right so thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next video